Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies. This is for the last week in June, the week when we are fully into Cancerian season. A lot of things around your home environment or in general your home are about to change. As you know, as the sun is in Cancerian, a lot of things are shifting, especially on this sector of your life. But let's see what else and how the energies are for you. As a general reading, loves, I keep saying that my connect with you these messages, or just a message, or my do not. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We have the High Priestess. It's kind of this week, it's very important to follow that inner voice. Sometimes I call the inner voice the universe, the God, or who you truly believe in it. That little small energy that you gotta trust. Four of Cups, the Moon, Knight of Swords, Six of Cups, Nine of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Chariot, and the Lovers. There's something here about conquer your fears and move forward. Choose to move forward, no matter that situation. You know that something here is not perfect, but doesn't mean you got to stay there or overthink. Even though you don't know it all or you're still into the search, choose to move forward. King of Pentacles. For some of you, this energy of move or this energy of doesn't matter how the things can go or how the things went. We need always to choose to move forward or we need to push forward. So something here speaks about a push forward energy. The first card we have Six of Swords. Yes, absolutely. Two of Wands, choosing to definitely move forward. King, Page of Pentacles. Look at here, we have the King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. It's like this week is the beginning of something new. No matter how hard my look like. Knight of Cups. It's like as above as below. This is about you and what you need to do. Or what you are going to do next doesn't sound in the beginning or right now something great or something promising but definitely is necessary for your own good for some of you this could be in regards a relationship but for many many of you this is more about to move from a job to another or from a career to another because is you are just in the beginning of something and this new beginning definitely are gonna grow exponentially a lot for example you you are in an environment that doesn't feel you know pleasant or doesn't bring you any good or it's not fulfilling you in any way. You are definitely making movement towards a new one. But I feel here this decision is quite a big one. So some of you, yes, you are choosing to move forward. We have a Ten of Swords next to the King of Pentacles. What I'm feeling here is some of you might hit the rock bottom before you choose this new path. Or to not hit the rock bottom, you are going to choose the new path. Let's see here the Six of Swords. What's that for? Knight of Wands. Temperance. King of Cups. Yes. 
and judgment. Yes, you know that something here needs to get serious. For some of you, yes, you may move away from a person to another one or from a relationship to another or you finally can move on from a situation that took you a while. But for many, many of you, it's very much up to you the new beginning in something that it's stable, it's grounded, and it's for the long term. The only night so far is Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles being the slowest night of the deck. This also speaks here that whatever decision you make now took you a while to make it, or took you a while to be final, or actually to decide that this is the best decision. Page of Pentacles, speak to me here. Ace of Pentacles. So as I said, loves, for some of you, this is a new job or a new career or a new beginning into something. Is just the beginning. Is just the beginning or giving yourself this opportunity into this new beginning is going to bring you peace of mind as well. One more card next to the page of pentacles. Four of pentacles. It's kind of, there's something here you've been holding back to, to do or to take. Or you didn't want to take charge or action towards it unless you realize that that's the only way to do better. There's something here about to do better for yourself, not for any other. And for some of you, definitely look at the Six of Pentacles. Six of Cups and I have Six of Swords. Six of Wands is the one missing in all this. Six of Wands is about that a winning energy, um, successful energy. So whatever here new beginning you choose or a new job, a new career, definitely uh, going to lead you to something beautiful. And that's the Six of Wands. It's like you are on the way to your winning situation, winning energy. And for some of you, this is about your prosperity, your, your growth, your expansion. Knight of Cups, speak to me, please. The world. This is the next level of yours with the Three of Pentacles. It's kind of like I decide to work with the universe, not against it. Tower. The devil. Yes, it's kind of you are going to break up um, a devilish energy. Hierophant. Four of Swords. It's like for some of you, you could work hard and never, never could have peace. But now there's something more. It's like you, you kind of break free from the devil. It's not like literally, I'm, I'm speaking here metaphorically, like you, it's a free life. There's something here that you could done constantly and never was okay or never was good about it. But now you just feel, you'll feel free from all the engagements or from all the hardships. It's like doing this energy will um, give you a sense of you free. A new beginning from all this you've been into. Wow. So there's a Scorpio here. For some of you, if you always dream to have um, a job which it's easier on you or on your body or make better finances or there is growth regards finances, now you are going. But I feel here there is a, a financial um, struggle 
you are gonna overcome. It's missing the six of wands, loves, but also it's missing the four of wands, as we have the four of swords here, four of pentacles, and the four of cups in the beginning. The four of wands speaks about uh, a happy environment, a happy home, happiness overall. So for some of you, whatever here is, and you start, you're gonna be happier than you ever used to be. But I feel here you still excited, but at the same time anxious. What advice we have for you, darlings, regards this opportunity or this decision of you or the decision making or making this decision? Let's see. The universe has your back. The advice is go for it or the wheel is turning go for the movement this is about movement for you two of pentacles sun don't doubt of the happiness you are gonna receive or the renewal it's like this renewal it's um, a godsend gift for some of you yes two Two of Cups. I feel here for some of you, open up. Open up, darlings, because something here is coming for you and it's pretty, pretty beautiful. Another thing here, we have the Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups. The Two of Swords is missing. This really speaks about what's ahead. You have no idea yet, but it's quite awesome also I have here the king of swords king of cups is here and king of pentacles is here the king of wands is the one missing however we do have here the the knight of wands and for some of you you are um, you are becoming um, either a business owner in the meantime or you are going to become a very great entrepreneur or a go-getter but it's kind of like since we don't have the knight of pentacles here it's like you you slowly understand your true power who you need to become it's like or you understand how the process can go but not as fast as you need to but you will start to see it it's like you enter into your true di divine power slowly and you'll be there for quite a long time for quite a long time i want to see in the deck where is the um, yeah, for some of you, yes, you have some financial problems right now or um, situation. I feel here that's changing. Okay. And here is the King of Wands that's missing. Ten of Swords and Ace of Swords. There's something here. Oof. There's something here you need to do so things can move forward. Absolutely. And here's the Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Cups and the Hermit. It's like you understand that you need to move forward because the things got to work out differently. Whatever you are going through, Scorpio, I hope this was helpful to understand that you definitely are on, the, on your right path. However, let me see also where is the, um, the Two of Swords. Here is, that's missing too, Ten of Pentacles. You don't see your, your true abundance, darlings. Yes, you don't. You don't see your true abundance. Like you feel it's very far away. Here you are. So this is just the, a beginning of freedom of what you can do next. Love and light loves, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.